AFC's matchup, the Dolphins and Bills, two teams with playoff aspirations. Mark Sessler, let's play our favorite game. Who do you trust? I want to talk about the two coaches. Which do you trust of these two? Is it Adam Gase, who suddenly has a team at 9-5, and five, a surprise team in the AFC playoff race, so much to play for. People say, oh, the Bills, they're floating down the river at 7-7. Seven and seven. Rex Ryan has to save his job. And this is not a team in Buffalo that I think has given up on their season watching them last week. If he goes 9-7 and seven and he wins this game to start it, how do you fire Rex Ryan? Who do you trust? Which one I of these coaches? I trust the Bills and Rex Ryan because Rex is getting fired no matter what. But that doesn't mean the players aren't going to play hard for him to tell ownership, please don't fire this guy. We love Rex. Yeah. We're making progress. We just heard it uh, uh, this week. I believe it was Kyle Williams who said, we're this close to turning the corner. Let's leave Rex in place. They're going to play hard. I trust Rex in this spot. I agree. In Buffalo, with the elements, and Buffalo's number one ranked rushing attack, I trust Rex mm. and his players to come out and put it on the Dolphins on the ground. This is why Mark makes the big bucks. What a great question. Millionaire. That's why we call him Daddy Fat Sacks. <laughs> big bulge and wallet. <laughs> I don't know who I trust between these two. It's so close. I don't know anything about Adam Gase. In a big spot, though, Rex Ryan did have his Jets teams playing hard when he was about to be fired a few times, True. even when he was fired. And so that, I'm going to go with Rex. I would add a, a – Yes, Daddy a, Fat a, Yeah, I'd add a counterpoint, but I'm reeling from the description that, Greg, I don't even know how to pick up the pieces from that. Back to you, Dan.